Western New York's largest school district is touting academic success for some of its students as the leader of Buffalo Public Schools delivered her State of the Schools address. Dr. Tanja Williams-Knight offered an overview of the district, highlighting key areas of student achievement and priorities. But challenges do still remain for city students. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley is unpacking it all for us tonight. Buffalo Public School students cheering for success ahead of a new school year. Superintendent Dr. Tanja Williams Knight appeared before a packed house of leaders touting improved math and reading assessments among some of the most disadvantaged students in the city. These babies who are the most needy group of children in our district did it. They did it. The superintendent says among third graders, reading proficiency jumped from 33 to 40% last school year. In math, proficiency jumped from 13% to 21%. We, we, the village, we did it. After her address, I asked the superintendent about reaching math and reading goals. I believe us staying with the, the science of reading strategies, it's not really a program, it's really just good old fashioned teaching. Williams Knight says she also wants to set the record straight, noting Buffalo high schoolers do not get a special pass when it comes to meeting graduation requirements. Still, only four high schools in the district had a graduation rate of more than 90 percent. You know she didn't announce uh, graduation rates. I think they took a little bit of a hit, but if we can continue to grow with the third graders, I think we're in a good, we are put ourselves in a great position. Parent Edward Spidell is president of the District Parent Coordinating Council and running for an at-large school board seat. He says he wants parents to see improvements in student suspensions, but he's pleased with a new absentee policy in the district. There will have uh, more adults showing up at the house talking to the families in person to try to solve that problem. Williams Knight also announced new safety rules for fans at all sporting events. Among them, all students must be accompanied by an adult. The changes followed troubles at last fall's high school football games. And the significance of being here on Buffalo State's campus for this address, it will be home to the Da Vinci School in September of 2026. On the Buffalo State campus, Eileen Buckley, 7 News.